Did you ever have to dig through the pile of toolboxes you have to find the couple of Torx bits you needed to do a proper install? We all have, haven't we? Well, it turns out there's a better way. That's next. Hi folks, and welcome back to DIY IT here on ZDNet. My name is David Gewertz, and today we're gonna to do a relatively simple project. Put an SSD inside a Mac Mini. The challenge here isn't really opening up the Mac Mini and fiddling with the parts. The challenge is often finding the right bits that are necessary to do the job. But today we do in fact have a better answer. The nice folks at iFixit were kind enough to send me their ProTech toolkit. So we're gonna to use just this to open up the Mac Mini and do the replacement. So with that, let's open it up. This is the only thing that doesn't come with the kit. Um, it is the Mac Mini Logic Board Removal Tool, except I made mine out of a coat hanger. You can also get one from iFixit for about four bucks. Be really careful. There's websites uh, on Amazon. I'm sorry, there are uh, vendors on Amazon that are selling this thing for like 75 bucks. It is a piece of coat hanger. And iFixit sells it for like four bucks, which is at least reasonable. So there you go, an SSD installed in my Mac Mini. And as you can see, using the iFixit toolkit is a whole lot easier than digging through all my tools. If you like this video, come on back for future videos. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, which is buried somewhere in my toolkits, right about here. And subscribe and you'll get updated notifications when there are more tool videos, when there are more product videos, when there are more 3D printing videos, all of that just by hitting the subscribe button buried in the toolboxes. And again, thanks to iFixit for their toolkit and for all of you for watching. My name is David Gewertz and I'll see you next time.